it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to show you how to wire a seven-way plug on your vehicle. Now there's a couple of different reasons why you might be adding a seven-way to your vehicle. The first being that you may not have any wiring on your vehicle, but you're wanting to pull a trailer that has brakes on it. The other one would be that you only have a four-pole wiring on your vehicle, but you want to add a seven-way, again, to pull that trailer with brakes. And the last reason would be is if you have a seven pole on your vehicle already and you want to replace it because it's old or outdated. Now the functions on your seven pole are going to start out with the standard four pole connections, which is the ground, the running lamps, the left stop and turn, and the right stop and turn. And then the three additional functions that you're going to get with the seven pole are going to be your electric brakes, your backup lamps, and your 12 volt line. Now the first thing you need to do is choose the right seven way for you. If you have a pre-existing four pole or you're going to install a four pole, um, this kit that has a four pole harness on it might be better because all you're gonna have to do to make four of your connections is just plug in your four pole and then you'll have the four pole at the end already. Um, if you are going to have to hardwire the whole thing, which is what we're gonna have to do today, this might be a better kit because all the wires come with butt connectors, and then you'll have your seven and your four pole at the face, and it'll have a nice manufactured look to it. If you're installing your seven-way connector from scratch, we have a video showing how to make all your connections at the front of the vehicle, um, and that's gonna help you greatly to get the wires back to uh, the rear of your vehicle in order to make the connections we're gonna show you today. Um, but what we're gonna do is show you how to find the signals from the front of your vehicle at the wiring harness at the rear so that we can connect them to the correct wires on our seven-way harness. We're gonna start by cutting off some of the jacketing on this wire and get the wires exposed. Now that we've got our wires exposed, we're gonna test all six of them and make note of them on a sheet of paper of what their functions are. So I have, currently I have the left turn signal on on the vehicle so i'm going to use this light tester um, and all it does is you just need to ground it with the clip somewhere on the body which we found a bolt up here that we can ground it to and these are really handy because they'll not only show you a light um, when you have a 12 volt signal but it'll actually have an audible beep too for when you find it so we'll go through and you can't always trust on the vehicle side or the seven-way side on the colors to be standard. So here we're testing the green wire on our seven pole. It's not it. Usually it's the yellow. So we'll test this yellow. So you can hear there, that's our left turn signal that is sending power back to this wire. So we'll go ahead and mark the brighter of the two yellows down on a sheet of paper as our left turn signal. So that was the right turn. So we think this one is our running lights. We'll go ahead and turn on our running lights. And we'll turn them off and we know that's it. For our brake wire, we do have a blue one here so we'll go ahead and test it since that's normally the standard. Okay. The only two wires we have left to test is our large white wire and then we have a black wire going into the center of our seven pole. So we do know that our large white wire is also connected up here on the frame with a self-tapping screw. So we know that one's gonna be our ground, which leaves our center pin to be our reverse lights. Now when getting ready to connect your wires to your factory wires or the wires you put in place on your vehicle, you want to make sure to check the functions on the seven pole itself and that is all going to be based off of pin placement um, and what we're looking at is the colors of the wires to match up with the pins um, and i know for a fact that on these two wiring harnesses they're different on this wiring harness we have here we have two yellow wires which is very confusing but our larger yellow wire is going to go to the center pin which is our reverse lights and our smaller yellow wire is gonna go to our left turn signal and stop signal, which is normal. But on our other harness over here, our red wire is the left turn signal, 
and the yellow wire is the reverse light signal. So a lot of times it'll come with this very helpful diagram to show all the colors of the wires and where they go and what pins they're on um, on the inside of your seven-way plug. So if you're replacing your seven pole, this is when you'll go ahead and make your cuts, strip back the wires, and make your connections, which is what we're gonna do next. So now with all our wires stripped back, we're gonna put on our buck connectors. I highly recommend using heat shrink buck connectors because these are gonna be outside the vehicle, exposed to the elements. So these really do help a lot with the corrosion and uh, keeping moisture out of the connection. Then depending on what your setup looks like, our setup already has that ground wire running up to the frame with a, a good solid ground. So we're gonna be able to just connect it with a buck connector, but you may have to run the white wire, uh, leave it longer to be able to run it up to the frame to be able to ground it with a ring terminal. So now all we need to do is match up our, the functions on our wiring harness to the functions on the vehicle side of the wiring harness, um, which we have written down on our sheet of paper. So we'll connect this one and we'll do the same for the rest of our wires. You always wanna give it a little tug just to make sure the wire's not gonna come out. And then we can make the heat shrink connections. Now that we've made all our connections, before we wrap everything up, we're gonna go ahead and test all of our wiring. So first we'll start with our left turn signal and we'll do our right turn signal now we'll do our running lights okay now we have our brake signal so when you hear that noise it's just because there's low power being sent to the brake controller itself now we'll test out our 12 volt power which is up here, and that'll be hot all the time without us doing anything as soon as we turn the key ignition on. Now we'll do test out our reverse lights. And while doing all of this, we have somebody in the driver's seat changing all these different functions. And then obviously our ground is working because otherwise none of these other functions would work. Now all we need to do is clean up our wiring and what we're going to do is we're just going to throw some electrical tape around these butt connectors to keep them all tied together and then we'll take our wire loom and run it over the rest of our uh, remaining exposed wires. Well guys, the last thing you have to do in your wiring installation for your seven way is to find the best place on your vehicle to install the seven way on the bumper. With all that being said, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.